Welcome back to Broke SEDC, home of the working stiffs, everyday carry, and bam, 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 bam. This is the Asher that actually is Big Doug Broke SEDC collection. This thing is not going anywhere. I said in some previous videos, I... So I got into this Asher from the Knife Owl himself. Uh, big shout out to the homie, to the Knife homie, uh, Sensei. He's bringing me along. He's trying to teach me a little bit. But you know, he's dragging me along. I'm kind of slow. I'm like, hey, look at this $20 knife I found on Amazon. He's like, hey. And then we have these great conversations. Might want to check out the knife owl sometime when the ass is on there. Owl in the ass, man, is where it's at. All right, so now that I've done went on and on, <clears throat> get to what y'all came here to see. So I got on Facebook. I was I was just flipping through, looking at all the uh, buy, sell, trade knife heads. You know, the rest of you are on there. I've seen you there. I've seen some people there here and there. And, uh, you know, that risky business of, working out a trade and cannot get a vouch for so-and-so so that they don't they only accept PayPal through my friends and family. Yeah, yeah, I know, man. It's a damn gamble. You never know. You're about to get ripped off. But So I was flipping through there, and uh, the stories, man, where I had followed Asher Knives, they were flipping a knife, and, and I read down at the bottom, it's like, there's a couple on the site. We found them, and we're throwing them up on the site. And I was like, no way. It's got to be an old one. I'll never. So I just stopped what I've done. I flipped over to the site. I'm telling you, man, Speedy Gonzalez couldn't have got this thing here any faster. Bam! I got the Asher Douglas. I, that's not a damn coincidence. Re come on. Really? I'm Big Doug. Everybody should know what Doug is short for. So, this is the Asher Douglas. I'm pretty sure this was made for him. This one right here was made for him. You're looking at the variation of the Asher Nomad with some upgrades to the finish and the materials. Stonewashed S35VN blade contoured micarta scales oh, and this part titanium backspacer and how does the uh, description read handle most all of your EDC needs and look good doing it not only does this thing look good it feels good and I was so glad that I got an opportunity to buy one of these and, and, and come across one so I could get one straight out of the box. And I've got to tell you, centering's dead on, right out of the gate. Everything is exactly the way you want it. Just smooth, slicked over. It's got the little, I ain't got to look at that ugly hole. Nice carry pocket clip. I'll be honest, I don't even want to carry this thing. I'm scared I'll get it dirty. I want to keep it nice and neat on this one. This will definitely be a going to church knife. And the action. Cue the symphony. Oh, yeah. And then it's got that nice little nested in there liner. A lot effortless to go over. And got a nice little, you can feel it just popping that detent just right. I mean, it is sweet. 
Can he get the reverse? Oh, yeah, you can on these. Uh, I can. It's like I couldn't reverse flick until I got a hold of Ash. I just, I, I, I'll be down with this uh, this company again. I will definitely be building my own collection. And couldn't have picked a better one to start with. Uh, brass cage bearings of the ceramic variety. Take it, take a second there. Soak it in, man. That, I wasn't a big fan of my Carta, and I've had a couple here and there, and it's like, eh, I could take or leave it. This is the first my Carta, man, I've got a hold of, and I really like, and the bad part is I was sitting there at the kitchen table, taking it out of the box and flicking it, and uh, trying to explain to the old lady why I spent $100. She likes this one. Yeah, I, she ain't getting it. She liked it. Just the feel of it, the weight, this thing is dead on. And I got no no complaints with it, none. The jimping, good hand feel. What's weird about these is they all stay in that range of, they're 7.4 inches long, approximately. The clothes length, so you're looking at that 4.2 inch handle and this 3.2 inch blade. But this one, man, just seems to get that, that fourth finger on there, the way it's shaped, the way this uh, front groove is shaped. A little bit of jimping, but it catches right on the back side of your thumb knuckle, so you're held in that good solid position there. No slippage if he's going to bear down and do some real heavy work with it. It just hits it dead on. Them contoured scales fill out the hand well. And uh, I just can't get over that action, man. So I can see why Backpack B uh, has a little love affair with these Ashers. And he has definitely spread the fever to me. Uh, I think I was lucky enough to pick this one up. I think it was 120 right out the door shipped. It is a little bit of the of a stepped up model from the Nomad. <clears throat> While y'all are soaking that in, I was trying to look real quick. I could not remember the price on the Nomad. So the the original Nomad, I think. Uh, Because you've got the Nomad that's got the access bar and it's the the 3.0. It's like 90 bucks. And the, this is kind of like the, the Spiro Micarta a little bit, like 106. It's kind of like a mix between them. So definitely... Definitely a nice one. Uh, no regrets on that one. Great service. Put the order in. It shipped the next day, and it was here. No complaints. So I've drug on enough about the Asher, and that closes out the uh, the Asher line going through them. I was just I thank my stars. I was lucky enough to get one. If you you get out there on the Facebook. You watch it, they'll drop. Check that site periodically. Uh, it's right at the top of the site. Uh, One-ups is what it is. You just smash that. It's random variations of different models available in small supplies. So, when it's shown, when you click the details and you slide down in there, there's a drop menu. And if it's... If it's in there and you got, you can order, it'll ship. So keep an eye out. And as they drop, they're going to go quick. Because I imagine anybody who's uh, buying these is pretty fond of them. And they're looking for their next one. So just get in line and hope you get your hands on one. I'd like to thank everybody uh, <clears throat> for all the support I've been getting. Uh, I just can't say it enough. Check out uh, 
the Alan the Ass uh, little live stream with uh, Backpack B, the Knife Owl, having great times, great conversations over there about knives, life, and everything in between. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Stay sharp. Stay safe.